Hey guys, excuse my whole look. I have flowers in my hair. My mom says I look like a flower girl. She says I look like I'm, I'm going to a wedding. <laughs> I don't care. It's fall. I know. I understand. You're supposed to be wearing like red flowers or orange, even yellow, but I'm wearing white. I mean, can it look like winter flowers? Snowflake flowers? I don't care. I could do what I want, okay? Whatever. Okay, let's get into the video. Oh! Oh! Yeah! 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 Today is my five month post Big Chop anniversary um, and there are some changes that I've decided to make. For instance, I had planned to not trim my hair until, well originally it was April and then I changed it to March because I decided I wouldn't take off the inch in March and I wanted it to be like a whole lumber because I know that my hair would have grown to, to be um, eight inches by April and I didn't want to cut off a half an inch and be seven and a half I wanted it to be a whole number so I decided to change it to March so that if I took a whole inch off it would be eight inches by then and I, I'd be cutting it to seven inches so I changed my mind again um <laughs> I decided that um, I'm gonna trim my hair every six months um because I've noticed that um my my cut is still good from when my mom cut my hair back in J uh, June but the ends are starting to get a little, you know, something going on, and I don't want to wait and possibly have breakage or split ends, so I'd rather just trim it sooner than later. And so I decided I'm gonna, and it's not like I need to get a lot off, like a quarter of an inch, but I'm gonna take off a half an inch. So every six months I've decided I'm gonna take off a half inch. The only problem with that is that my six month intervals, like for instance, my six months would be December, which is fine. I'll be cutting my hair and just trimming my hair in December. But then the next time will be June, and it's hot in June, so, and I straighten my hair in order to trim it. So I'm thinking, uh, wow, it's gonna frizz, like, as soon as I straighten it. But, I mean, we'll see what happens. The new deal is that I will be trimming my hair in December, so you'll be getting a updated video on how I trim my hair sooner than later. Um, I tried doing a different regimen, and I talk about that in, like, a little video that I will show at the end of this video from... My hair is actually dry. My hair is wet right now, by the way. Um, I just washed it. But uh, what I did was I washed my hair and just slapped in a whole lot of Tresemme Naturals and a little bit of Eco Style Gel, and it looked really good um, while it was wet. Um, and it was a lot fuller and bigger and whatever. But once it dried, it turned into like frizz galore. Tangles galore. It's just no. I decided to go back to the basics and continue to do my original regimen from from which I showed you back in June, which is my shea butter and coconut oil mixture um, and my eco gel, and that is the best regimen. Like I don't really need to change my products. I don't. I think the best thing to do is to keep it simple and to keep it natural. And to me, shea butter is natural. Comes from the comes from. I don't know if it comes from the ground, but it comes from the earth. Um, coconut oil is natural, comes from the earth, and then glycerin is the eco style gel, and I think that's simple, and then you're locking in the moisture, and you're styling it, and that's all you need to do. Me buying five, fifteen hundred dollar, um, Miss Jessie's, and with all the product, all the little ingredients in it that I have no idea what it is, I don't think it's going to be beneficial to my hair when I could just keep it simple, and natural, and cheap. <laughs> um, and not even just cheapness, just I just really do think that the less I put in my hair, the better it will be. Well, another change is that I was using henna because um, I would henna my hair followed by indigo because I I would rinse my hair, or not rinse, sorry, uh, color my hair black because I like black hair on me. So, announcement, I decided to go back to my natural hair color. My natural hair color is light brown. It's like hard to explain because it's not just light brown. I should probably go outside because the light's changing in here. I'm gonna go outside. Okay, so now we're outside, nice sun, it's a little chilly, but it's okay. So, um, yes, I changed from, uh, I was indigo in my hair, I decided to go back to my natural hair color. Um, like I said, my natural hair color is kind of, it's a mixture of different colors, like it's, it's auburn, it's light brown, it's medium brown, it's red, it's gold, it's blonde, seriously, like I have a lot of colors. My natural hair color is like a lot of different colors. It grows out differently in different places and depending on the season 
Um, it's mostly like overall a medium-ish light brown and it grows out that way and for me I didn't I don't know if I mentioned this to you before but I don't like I didn't like it because my eyebrows are naturally black slash dark brown and I thought it looked weird but I haven't seen my natural hair color in like I mean, five or six years because I always was rinsing my hair black or henna ing and into going it black because I always loved black hair because I thought black is very sleek clean cut I just really like black hair and now I decided like looking at other uh, naturals who go all out just to dye their hair the colors that my hair turns naturally I'm like I should probably just rock my natural hair color and then when, you know when people ask me oh what'd you dye it's my natural hair color so no but uh for real I decided to go back to my natural hair colors and I haven't henna and indigo to my hair since August so it's like an inch and a half of like my natural hair color coming in and the ends are black it looks so strange but um you can't tell right now because it's like really it's like literally an inch and a half of regrowth that you came and I don't even know if you can even see it I decided to just go back to my natural hair color like basically how I'm going to do that is grow it out and when I trim my hair the black will eventually go away but I am going to be doing because I do still want the effects the conditioning effects of henna is I'm going to I was going to start using well I actually started using Cassia Aviata Aviato I don't really know how to pronounce the aviato part. I think it's aviato. Um, and I used it for the first time yesterday. And I really like it. I love it better than henna. Like, seriously. Oh my gosh. It What it does is it, it's like, it gives you the conditioning effects of henna, but it doesn't have a red tone. It doesn't have the dye content that henna has. Instead, it has yellow dye content. If you have blonde hair, you're, it will show up in your hair. It will show up as more golden, more, more like a golden uh, sun-kissed color. Because my natural hair is um, <laughs> is lighter, it's a lightish brownish, it shows up on my baby hairs and it's so strange because then my baby hairs are kind of gold. Uh, it shows up a little bit in my natural hair, not much, just kind of like leaves a more of a golden hue, um, but not really because my hair is not blonde, um, not all of it anyway. Lately I've been wearing a lot of wash and goes, I wore a wash and go all last week. Um, I think I'm really getting into wash and goes, even though my hair is like still in an awkward stage. I've been using headbands as a way to keep it out of my face. And oil, I don't really like hair in my face. I never did. Even when I had my hair was like naturally long and curly before, I never. I always had my hair straight back. Always had the curls going back away from my face. I don't like curls cover my face. It makes me feel claustrophobic. Um, I feel like it looks strange having hair in my face. On me, like I would never, I don't like bangs on me, like stuff like that. It's hard to keep my hair on my face as it grows because it's just going up and up and down. So that's the reason why I was doing a lot of protective styling and a lot of other types of styles because I didn't know what to do with my hair because it's being awkward. But now I've discovered the headband and I've been using headbands and I really like it with my, with my um, wash and goes. On top of the fact that my wash and goes are a lot longer, if you can tell. They're a lot longer than they were when I first cut it, so that's helpful. You can see it from the sides now. And my curls have gotten more defined um, now since uh, it's grown out some, and so I'm really liking it right now. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's an update. I guess I now I can show you what my hair looks like right now. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like right now. Um. Now, I guess I'll just show you a little video expert that excerpt that I made while I was at work one day. So that's it, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Bye. Hey guys, this is a quick, like, vlogish type of video. I um, just want to show you like how much bigger my hair has gotten. If you look at my video from like my regimen video from when I first cut my hair back in June, it was like so much shorter. Like there's so much more like body. something I was getting used to but now it's like like getting really really long so like this isn't my collarbone this is six inches guys I measured it it's six inches it's down to here 
here. Yay! It's getting warm. Shrinkage is crazy, but it's okay. <coughs> so what I did, I changed my regimen, and I'll probably do a regimen video at my six month anniversary, which is December. But um, so part of it. I wanted to leave this way, but it ended up coming back down, which is fine. Because I felt like if it was leaning this way, it would just look stupid. Whatever. I mean, my hair isn't perfect because it's not, it's still not like long enough. It's not like as long as it I want it to be. It still looks like a little mushroom, like a little weird, uneven mushroom. But that's okay. It's growing and. I'm just glad it looks different from the way it did when I first cut it. Cause I, for a while, I was like, "Is my hair even growing? Like, I can't even tell. My shrinkage is crazy. Like, it's, I'm gonna have a twa forever. Like, shit. Sorry, excuse my French. But um, <laughs> so it's pinned here. And then I'm gonna go curlies. Here's a little hair porn for y'all. It's a little white in the back because I still have conditioner in it and it's still wet. So that's white conditioner. If it's a little dry, I'll go with. Yeah. My front is like retarded. My front like does not curl. I mean, it does in some spots. Like at the end, it does a little bit. But for the most part, like, like this. It's like the not so good example. Like this one. No, wait, hold on. This side. Seriously, like this. This is like straight. But it's frizzy. It's like frizz. And I don't care. I don't care how much gel I use. I don't care how much anything I use. It doesn't do anything. It just frizzes. Like even when it's wet, I like put gel in it and it's still frizzy. Like it's just this like frizzy, wavy, weirdness. I don't know why it's just like this section too it's never it's nowhere else in my hair it's only like this section this little piece it's like a little triangle area like a bermuda triangle where like it doesn't do anything it just kind of does nothing it's just frizz weirdness and like it frizzes like right here that's what i don't like is that my hair is one texture all through the back all at the top all on the sides and then all of a sudden, I have this like crazy, like frizzy front, and it's crazy. It's weird because it frames my face, so it's like you'd like some nice curl action, like you do in the back and the front. But no, my hair is retarded. But it's okay. I love my hair anyway, and I'm glad it's growing. <laughs> Yay! Okay, guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to say.